In this video, let's look at some TIPCO Jaspersoft reports and how they can be embedded into a web responsive framework like Bootstrap or any other you may choose. So you can find this fiddle in the description below and you can make changes to it and see how the different container and the different scaling of the height and the, maybe an exact number or the width can be used to control this in a web responsive environment. Keep in mind though, this is scaling of reports since these are pixel perfect reports and as we pull this out and look at two identical reports side by side, which you can use as a way of comparing height and width and these different aspect ratios. But as you look at this, you can see that the actual space below will um, expand or grow and the width will um, change based upon the container size, how we move the page. So this has to be considered as you're creating something in your web application framework because this does have an aspect ratio to it. Where below with an ad hoc report, you do have uh, the ability to have a web responsive nature to that environment. So if I scroll down and look at this report in the bootstrap framework I've created, um, you can see that it changes size and it works to the width of the page. Now keep in mind this was a report that was built using the Jasper report server ad hoc environment, then moving it to studio so there is that element of having to do those steps um, and there's more work that's going forward with views with ad hoc and using that with visualize.js that will make this easier. But at this time, if you're using ad hoc reports and you want to just embed those, you can do that today and you can you do that through Studio. Now scrolling down to the next example, we have a Jaspersoft Studio report set to width with a fixed height in the CSS. So you can set your height however you want in your environment, but keep in mind that this particular report um, is going to have space below and it'll uh, move the width of the aspect ratio to be exact uh, to the width of that environment. So you have this additional space below. So in some cases you may find the container works better to really fit um, that particular div. And the last one I have here is scaling a Jaspersoft Studio report to height. So in this case, it fits the height of this div and you have this additional space. And I'll have to move down here once more, but let's just look at this. So here we have that exact space below. And then as you move the page further and further, it begins to encroach on the report. So that has to be considered when you're just thinking about the height only. Um, again, Thinking about aspect ratio, you don't have the ability to have the height and the width uh, change in a web responsive environment. That's um, really because of the pixel perfect nature of the studio reports and different than the ad hoc reports, which are web responsive. So now let's look at the code and see how visualize.js was used to accomplish this. And if you see here, you can see that the authentication is simple for visualize.js. And then we pass that object V, which is appended to that particular div, in this case, C1. And then we have C2 below it, which is the other secondary report that sits alongside of it. Looks like it needs to load this particular bit of code. Here we go. And then, um, so that's the first two reports we saw sitting side by side. They sit in these first row of bootstrap with column six, column six. And so C1, C2, and those are both set to scale by container, right? So you could also play with that and set the scaling to width on one and keep the container scale on the other, compare some different things. But that's all saying that basically um, these are just studio reports that can be scaled by width, height, container, or an exact number. Now the second uh, example that I showed you earlier has the ad hoc report and that's scaling by width. You can again change that to scale different ways. And then the um, last two, C4, C5, actually are um, scaling by width and then height is, this, is the last example I showed you. So you can set these, um, these are on their own rows, so you can do some things that way to see how that works and then you can compare it to, to report side by side. Hope this helps and uh, very best as you begin to work on your web responsive framework and using these reports in that environment.